Hi everybody, happy first day of spring. Hey, uh, we were held up a little bit this morning uh, by the frost, so um, it gave me time to get this video done and uh, just point out some things to you. But the frost prompted me also to uh, make sure I get this video out because it's important that you know. Now a lot of people, I tell people this all the time and they're like amazed, they're like, really? So I'm surprised how many people don't know. So anyway, I wanted to share with you that um, if there is a frost on the ground, whether it's spring or fall, um, you want to stay off the grass because when you walk on it, it's as simple. You walk on it, you break the cuticles of the grass, you prevent, you, you create a uh, browning effect in, in the shape of whatever you broke it off. So if it's footprints, tire marks, whatever, you're going to have that look in your lawn. So it's not so bad in the spring when that happens, but you know, it, because we're going into the growing season and it's going to grow out anyway. But in the fall, if that happens, you're going to have to deal with that from whenever it happened, if it's early fall, all the way through until this time of year until it grows out. And it's areas like you probably notice where post, the postman or the delivery guy, uh, whoever has walked across your yard, whether it's morning or night, um, and you've had that, you've had the, you know, a frost cover, and it's, you know, it's broke the, it, it's done, it's damaged and broke the, you know, the cuticles. So um, anyway, just keep that in mind. It's an easy thing to do to keep your lawn looking good all year. And surprisingly, like I said, not many people know about that. But, but anyway, then the other thing I want to point out, since the weather is going to be in the 50s, mid 50s today, mid 60s tomorrow. I know that a lot of people are probably going to be out and get nasty to get out and get some stuff done in the lawn and the landscape. But one quick trip, uh, trick that I can teach you that doesn't cost you a dime and uh, will give you great dividends is um, the first cut of this year, mow your lawn short. Not super, super short, but short, shorter than normal. And you're going to, you know, you're, basically what you're trying to do is you're trying to remove all that dead grass, that dormant grass from the year before, because every year you get a new crown of grass. And in order to expose that color, the closer the grass, you know, your existing grass is to, you know, to the, to the soil, the quicker that color is going to show itself. So anyway, um, that's just a quick trick. I mean, you don't have to do it. It's nothing, <laughs> it's nothing that's man, you know, mandated. But one thing that is mandated, though, I will highly recommend is that once you mow short, if you decide to do that, you're going to gradually want to increase, you know, raise your mower setting up to where you're eventually at the highest setting. And I'm going to go into another video Discuss, you know, discussing that. But for right now, if you decide to get out and get that first cut done today, um, and you're doing it short, just remember after today, the next cut, uh, regardless of what I get out in a video, your next cut, you're going to want to bump your mower back up a setting, at, you know, a notch, and and mow at that height. But don't continue to mow at that short height, you know, for for a long time. You eventually want to get it back up to a higher height. But anyway, uh, that's just a quick tip. Nothing that costs you a dime. But, you know, people are going to walk through the neighborhood and they're going to notice that you have a gorgeous lawn.